What's up, everybody? Moped here, and yeah, it's been a while. Um, it's been a while. I don't, I don't know what else to really say. Um, as you can see, things are different. Uh, new place, mixing station thing. Still kind of getting everything set up, but got most of everything set up so far. So, so yeah, so it's been a while. Um, sorry, I've been kind of dealing with some stuff, and yeah, been dealing with stuff. So, anyways. Um, Videos will start coming out again, probably kind of slow, probably not. Um, it's going to be a while till I get back up to where I was. Um, I'm still doing the Sunday show on Daytime Frank's channel, so make sure you're subbed over there. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. That Sunday show is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, be watching the Sunday show. And so anyway, so today we're just going to review One Juice. Yeah, we're just going to look at One Juice. Um, it's foreshadowing by Mathematical. And... We are going to do it the cheater way because well, getting back into everything. So <clears throat> he's got a list on all the flavors.com uh, for shadowing, AKA green berry brush. And <clears throat> if you guys ever had like the green Hawaiian punch, that's kind of what he was going for, which is good. I like the green Hawaiian punch. So, so the recipe reads 0.3% um, anywhere cactus, 1.2% capella golden pineapple, 4% TFA kiwi double, 1% capella lemon lime, half a percent TFA papaya, 2.5% uh, TFA strawberry ripe, 0.5% capella super sweet, and 0.5% capella sweet guava. Yeah, and I really dig it. Um, I really dig it. It definitely reminds me of that drink. Um, it's been a while since I had it, so I can't tell how spot on, but it tastes, uh, it tastes pretty familiar, so. It's definitely within that realm of the flavor profile he was going for. Um, it's nice and juicy. It's got that tartness to it. It's just really good and refreshing, especially right now. It's like, you know, high 90s, hundreds. Um, yeah. So great job, Mathematical. Uh, another thing was, like, I think this is the first recipe I've ever had with TFA papaya in it that I didn't hate. And my guess would be, um, especially with the inware cactus, I'm guessing, is kind of helping it keep some of the floral notes, but without going to that potpourri kind of, I don't know, I've complained about that. that I get like potpourri from TFA papaya. So I think the inner cactus really helps out along with, you know, the sweet guava, kiwi, you know, just a lot of kind of uh, juicier, kind of a lot of just juicier fruity flavors to kind of, kind of counteract that, yeah, that potpourri taste. So yeah, I would definitely give it a solid like four out of five because I'd vape on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna finish this. I might mix up more, you know. We're in a pretty bad heat wave, so so great, great job, mathematical. Um, let's see, stop sharing now. Make sure you go check out more of his recipes. Uh, stay tuned to the channel, like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm still a little. Yeah, life, life has really like kind of turned turned me on my head lately. So sorry, I'm a little a little off right now, but kind of starting to get back into the groove and uh yeah thank you guys for sticking around love you guys until next time eat sleep mix repeat